Hey guys, so sorry for looking like this. I just got back from two hours at the gym, so I'm kind of exhausted and I wanted to film this before I got my shower because my hair would be all wet and I think it'd look even worse. Um, but today I'm here to do my March wrap up and April TBR because tomorrow's April already and I can't believe it. But compared to the last few months, I actually read seven books and one novella this month. So I'm still five or six books behind on my goal though. So yeah, let's just get right into the wrap up and the TBR. So the first book that I read this month was The Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. This was finishing up from the Harry Potter readathon. I had been charging my way through this. Um, so I ended up giving this book 3 out of 5 stars because it isn't my favorite out of the series and I know that it gets better so I don't like giving them all 5 stars when I know it gets better because then I feel like the other books deserve a higher rating and yeah. So obviously you know what Harry Potter is about so I'm not going to talk about it too much but yes. And then I read an ebook and that was Stolen by Lucy Christopher I think. I read this with one of my friends on Twitter. And um, it was a Kindle monthly deal or daily deal. And so I read it and I gave that one two out of five stars. If I haven't posted a review on it yet, I will. I've written reviews for a few of these books this month. And yeah, so it's just about a girl that gets kidnapped. And the whole story, it's about 200 and something pages. And it's all like a giant letter to her captor. So it was interesting. The format was okay, but yeah. When I do a review of it, I'll let you know. Then, as part of a blog tour, I read The Freaking of Jonathan Mark by Nathan Gross. I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars, and I posted a video review on it. It was my only video this month that wasn't a book haul, and that's kind of sad. But this is an adult thriller mystery, almost dystopian kind of book. And so my blog review will be linked in the description if you're interested. But like I said, I also did a video review if you prefer those. But yeah, really enjoyed it. So I recommend you check it out. Then I read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel by Ransom Riggs with art by Cassandra Jean. Again, I did a review for this, but I haven't posted it yet. So that will be up within this week or next week. Um, did I say I gave this 4 out of 5 stars? I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Um... I really enjoyed it. I, it had been a while since I read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, like October or November of 2012, and I got Hollow City, so I wanted to be able to read Hollow City, so I refreshed my memory, and there were actually a lot of things I'd forgotten that happened in this book, so I'm very glad I reread this, and again, my review will be up soon. Then I read a library book, and that is Winger by Andrew Smith. I'd been wanting to read this book forever, but I was on a kind of book buying ban. Um, so I didn't buy it, but I ended up only giving it 3 out of 5 stars. I had given it 4, and then with the ending I had to bump it down to 3, because I was like, whoa, if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to spoil it. Um, so yeah, it was okay. I haven't really read that many books from a male per perspective. I was going to say protagonist. I think protagonist is the right word, and antagonist is the bad guy. Um, and then he was at a boarding school, so again, that was kind of different for me to read. And overall, I thought it was okay. I don't know if I'll read The Marbury Lens. I think that's the other book he wrote because I've heard iffy things about that one. But yeah, three out of five stars. Then I read Queen by Amy Reed. This is another book I've been wanting to read for a while, so I got it out of the library. And I gave it three out of five stars again. I had a pretty average reading month, but I read a lot. Um, and this is just about a group of kids that are in a rehab. Well, they're not kids, they're like teenagers. And so it talks about everybody's different perspectives and it was kind of interesting. Um, it takes a while to get into and kind of remember who's who and who's dealing with what and blah blah blah. So yeah, it was okay. And then I finally read Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. I like just finished this two days ago. Um, people had kept talking about it in every book haul, every wrap up, every TBR people were talking about this book or this series. Um, so I read it and I really enjoyed it and I loved Adam and I hated Warner within like the first 50 pages. I was like, nope. Um, so I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. There were some things I would have changed, but overall I think it was the very first book for a trilogy because once I finished this I actually went on Amazon and I bought, um, Ignite Me. So that will be here tomorrow, Tuesday. Tu that's tomorrow. Um, so
so yeah because I'm gonna read Unravel Me next and then yeah so I got hooked and then because I also bought this before I'd even started Shatter Me or finished Shatter Me I bought Unite Me which is Destroy Me and Fracture Me as well as um, Juliet's Journal so I read Destroy Me I finished that yesterday and I gave it three or four out of five stars I think I'm not rating them individually I think I'm just gonna rate it as a whole book um I don't know I don't know a lot of people told me that I would change my feelings on some people and I think they were right based on who this story talks about I don't want to spoil anything so I don't know what some people would consider spoiling so I'm going to talk about it without really talking about it but I kind of had a couple of ideas about the, the guy in Destroy Me but mm, I don't think I hate him as much those were all of the books that I read in March and now we get on to my TBR for April. Um, for April, as many of you know, I'm a part of the Yearathon, um, as well as Alyssa and Keisha. I will link our Goodreads group down in the description in case you haven't joined yet and I don't know why you wouldn't. But this month is our reread a thon and back in December for one of my Vlogmas videos I made a giant list of books that I was going to reread. So I'm kind of very excited that we're doing that this month and I've picked up three so I will talk about them. The first two are ones that I know I'm going to get into. Oh and this starts next Monday the 7th just so you know and then I'll go to the end of that Sunday. Um, so the first one that I want to reread is The Giver by Lois Lowry. I read this in like the sixth grade and I haven't read it since but I'd also read Gathering Blue but I don't own that one. So I remember enjoying it enough considering I'd read it for school but I know they're making a movie out of it so I want to reread this plus it's short. And then I also want to reread Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood. I read the book for this ages ago. I saw the movie for this ages ago. But I still remember a lot of what happened. Um, so I just want to reread it because I really enjoyed it the first time I read it. And then this next one is a maybe. I'm not committing myself to read it this month but I would like to. And that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I reread this again forever ago when only City of Glass was out so a long time ago um, I would bought all three at once and I read this um, I wanted to reread it for the movie and I didn't I still haven't seen the movie and I want to read the series because I've only ever read this book before City of Heavenly Fire comes out because I know so many people are supposed to die so I'm afraid of getting spoiled and then I'm not going to want to read the series knowing who dies so yeah I think I just want to marathon it before the end of May I think it's the end of May um so yeah this is a maybe but I'm gonna try and we get on to my TBR I'm trying not to set myself too high but considering my pile it's kind of high um, the first book that I want to read, and I'm going to start today after I finish filming this, is Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi. Obviously, um, I flew through Shatter Me, so I'm hoping to do the same with this one, but this one's like 100 pages longer. So, I really want to read this one because I really want to know what happens. And then I will read Fracture Me and Ignite Me because that will be here tomorrow. Probably by the time Eurothon starts, I hope to have the Shatter Me trilogy finished. So, that's a goal. And then in between the month, I want to read Tween Hobo Off the Rails, written by Elena Smith, but drawn by Kate Harmer. I received this from Simon & Schuster Canada, so thank you again. And this just seems very cute and light, and yeah, it's based off a Twitter account. So yeah, like those are some of the tweets. So I think this will be really easy to read, and I can't wait to review it for you guys. And then we get into the final three books, which are the books that I always say I'm going to read. So that is The Book Thief, Altered, and Vampire Academy. I've been 100 pages into this forever, 75 pages into this forever, and saying I'm going to read this forever. So these three are my maybes, as always, and they will be the last books that I read this month once I finish the rest of my TBR. So that is all I have for my video today. I have a pretty big book haul coming your way tomorrow and then I went to book outlet yesterday or two days ago but that's gonna be in my May book haul because I already filmed my April book haul and I don't want to refilm it and pull my books off my shelf and blah blah blah. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope you had a great month in March and an even better month in April and I hope you don't get too many tricks played on you tomorrow. 
Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, so I forgot to mention, but just very quickly, in May I will be participating in the Bells Walks so with Kids Can Talk. And if you don't know what that is, I think it's in Canada, but it's a fundraiser 5k walk kind of thing to raise money for Kids Help Phone, which is a provider or a service for kids to call when they feel like they need help, if they're feeling depressed, if they have things going wrong with their family, and etc, etc. It is something that I have used many times and I believe very strongly in and I want to make sure that it keeps going. So if you would like to support me in my walk, even if it's just a dollar, it would still mean the world to me. So I will leave the link to that down in the description. And yeah, this isn't for me. This is for other kids and other people that need the service. So yeah, thanks for watching and for your support for everything I do. So have a great day.